Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the notion of the quote-unquote regulatory guillotine. We've discussed this topic in another video discussing the regulatory guillotine. In short, it's basically the notion of cutting out a lot of quote-unquote red tape. And we've, we've talked about this, it's, it's coming from a business context. Uh, to go ahead and quote from the business section of the Bangkok Post, uh, this is print edition from Monday, March 29th, 2021. The article is titled, Making It Out of the Maze. Quoting directly, when starting a business in Thailand, many people find themselves in a maze of regulatory procedures and licenses, not to mention conflicting legal interpretations by different state agencies. Quoting further, such complications discourage some from even starting a business, while those who decide to jump in may end up facing unnecessary costs and time wasting through a string of legal requirements. Quoting further, Thailand Development Research Institute, TDRI, suggests efforts be scaled up to tackle outdated or unnecessary laws known as regulatory guillotine. Otherwise, Thailand will find it difficult to boost its competitiveness or return to strong economic growth. Uh, I do think this notion is laudable. However, I, I often think, especially when this stuff is, is kind of a top-down mentality, the paradigm is kind of more from a top-down rather than a bottom-up sort of, sort of evolution of changing the regulatory structure, there, there can be kind of a, I don't know how you want to call it, I, I hesitate to use the word tyranny, but a kind of, of tyranny of good intentions. I've, I've heard that phrase used uh, in the context of COVID recently. And I do think, you know, people have good intentions, but their intentions can manifest themselves in a policy way and, and especially in a legal way and, and, and can have effects that they don't really intend. They, it's, it's, there's unintended consequences of laudable policy changes. I'll just give one just tiny little example of this that we saw when the rules were changed with respect to work permits for representative offices in Thailand. Folks that were working in represent, uh, foreigners that were heading generally a representative office in Thailand did not need a work permit. They changed the statute and said, yeah, you don't need that. And on the face of that, that was great. You know, it knocked out something that folks wanted to do business here. They didn't need to have that. As a practical matter, it was a nightmare. We were dealing with clients in that situation because you know immigration wasn't used to dealing with business visa extensions without a work permit and notwithstanding the law said something immigration took the position that their regulations dictated you have to have a work permit it caused all sorts of unforeseen unintended problems i'm not saying that's necessarily going to happen here by cutting some red tape but generally speaking there is a reason why things come into existence now sometimes over time they accrete where sort of conflicting policies manifest themselves in regulations and laws that sort of conflict with each other practically. But the point of this, of talking about this is, well, it's generally good to hear about, you know, changes to the red tape, cutting back on bureaucracy, et cetera, et cetera. It's been my experience that, you know, we saw this in a U.S. immigration context, and it had a lot, it caused a lot of problems, at least temporarily. Now, sometimes longer term, it's smoothed out, but you know, generally speaking, I have never found bureaucracies, as a general rule, get easier to deal with. They generally get more Byzantine and more complicated as time goes by. That's not to say that you know, initiatives can't be made to counteract that, but it, just be careful because you know, unintended consequences can have real problems at a practical level down the road.